Welcome back to Jeb Adams' channel. And today we're going to continue working on the PA-10-8 motor out of Singer 500J Gina, which is behind this blue recycling garbage bag. And this is really messy. I mean... Messy in capital letters. So I want to clean this. And then at the bottom there, where's my, one of my pointers? Here's one. Right down here is a bearing. And it's closed. It's closed bearing. Like if you look at the other end, there's just a plastic part there. It says PA, PA 10-8. Made in USA, Elizabethtown, New Jersey. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash this because it's so filthy. I think you can see all that, whatever that is in there, carbon dust, I guess, and gunk. So I'm going to wash it, but I'm going to cover that bearing like that with my finger and stick it in there. And then I am going to get this little brush here and I'm going to do a quick good job trying to get all the dust out of there oh look splish splash so it's a mess yeah it's an absolute mess anyway that's going to come out of there I'm going to couple, get a couple of uh, salvageable paper towels. I have a whole bag of them around here somewhere, just over there. But now I don't think we got it clean. I got it clean just with that one dump, that one dunk in the in the bath. But we'll see what we did. We'll see what we got accomplished. Hey, gals and guys, ladies and gentlemen, sewers and restorers. Now I'm grinding in with my forefinger with this paper shop towel. It came out pretty dirty. It's still dirty in there. See, and at the bottom of that bearing, right right here and here, this looks like a, a clamp or a spring of some sort to keep this bearing and this bushing in place. And if we look closely... I'm going to bring it in close, but but look where I'm pointing before I bring it in close because my wand is too long. And uh, But on the left side of this, where this piece of steel clips into in the bake light or whatever this is, this side is open. That side is closed. And if you flip it around and look at it this way, again... This side is open, or no? Here, let me take a look. Okay, so this side is open down here on the right, and this side is open on the left. But I already tried pressing down that spring or whatever you want to call it, and I couldn't get it to come out. And I was talking to another YouTuber, uh, high profile, high profile, uh, it was actually Andy Tube, and uh, we were chatting about this. And he'd had he had said that it's difficult to get that out, but I have um, I have a, a spring washer tool that I purchased recently, and I haven't even tried it yet, so maybe that'll work. But anyway, I'm gonna leave that, I'm gonna wash that some more, and I'm gonna wait till. This is totally clean, and then I'll see if we can get that washer off. 
uh, another time. So I'm going to put that aside for now. And then I'm going to change from water, soapy water, to what I'm going to get first is, I'm going to get rid of that. Where did that bag of towels go? Oh, I'm so organized. I tell you. Well, he is. Anyway, what we're going to do is I've got the, the plastic here protecting that machine. When you lift this up, you have to be very careful because the only thing supporting this spindle or shaft is the bearing up here. So maybe it's a two-hander. What I got here is electrical contact cleaner. And I'm going to spray all this stuff with electrical contact cleaner and bathe the small parts in there in the electrical contact cleaner. And then it's supposed to evaporate. It's supposed to self-dry. And uh, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to clean this all up and uh, see how well it, how clean it comes and how well it self-dries, evaporates or whatever. And then next time... I have a, like, this is not too bad a motor. It's not, there's not a lot of grease. There never was. I mean, that cover that we just washed, um, that's as bad as it got, you know? Um, yeah, the, the brushes and, and springs and the brush cases, they're, it's all going to go in there anyway. So without much further ado... Okay, my friends, I'm back with you. Uh, that stuff is really uh, flammable, and it's quite potent, uh, the scent, the smell. And I have a lot of lights in here. And I also didn't put my phone on airline, so I could get a call. I don't think there would be any spark from there, but what I did was open the window and put the fan on. So if you hear some background noise on the street or you hear the fan, I do apologize. But let's get through this. So, look at the gunks that's all coming off there already. All right? So, some more. Okay, you saw how sh sweet and short that shot was. So I think we've done a good job with that as it sits. So I'm just going to put that aside for now. No, you know what? I'm going to let it drip right there. Oh, no, I'm going to move it aside because I need the room. Now we're going to get this big bad boy right here. Look at all that dust in there and that carbon and stuff that's the color it's supposed to be that kind of reddish copper cover there's a tape there on each side well this contact this electrical contact cleaner is supposed to be okay for tape and everything so let's get at it we'll get right in there oh yeah
there, I'd say that's pretty much. We can set that one aside for now. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these small parts, like these nuts and screws and springs, and even the bushings, the brushes. And I'm gonna put them all in there. I'm gonna keep those things out, the covers, I'm gonna keep them out. This I'm gonna keep out and do it by hand. And the other ones here, oh geez, I put the, uh, I put the spacer in there too. That one I didn't want to put in. The other one can go in there. So let's see what we're getting done here. I think they're coming clean. Okay, these brushes and springs, I want to get them right away. There, we can have a close look at that. <laughs> Next. <laughs> There's a spring. So how's it looking? Well, let's get a Q-tip. And see... what we're getting. So that's the carbon dust we're getting after putting it in the contact cleaner. So I'm not going to put it in the water and soap, dish water, soap and water. I just want to do it this way with this one because the next one that I'm going to do I'm not going to use electrical contact cleaner. I'm going to use water and dishwashing liquid. And it's, I may even do, I'm going to use degreaser as well. And it's going to be all, you know, the video is going to be somewhat, if you'll pardon the pun, somewhat of a carbon copy of uh, Andy Tube when he uses water and degreaser and hair dryers to. To do this stuff, so that's what I'm going to do with the next, with the next motor, and it's a really critical, dirty motor. What else have we got in here? We got the boxes that they come in. We got them. So, so we know we have cotton swabs. So let's get. This one. So it's a little bit grungy, a little bit dirty. There, I can live with that. That one, I need a new Q tip. How are you guys making out? So anyway, that's what I'm going to continue doing. I'm going to continue washing those things in the electrical contact cleaner. And next time we're going to get together and we're going to pull apart a really filthy motor. And once we have this all cleaned up, we're going to put it back together and get it to go. 
but we've got about uh, not quite 10 motors maybe eight or nine and uh, so I'm not going to do eight or nine right in a row I think maybe do one or two a week that kind of thing but thanks for stopping by uh, if you're still here way to go and uh, please do like and subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell that would be appreciated and thank you for your support I hope you uh, learned something here or found something of value to help you with your machines and sewing and stuff Ciao.